my hands. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> Alright, you can go ahead and introduce, introduce us then, Dom. Mason, just do it. You just, just say it. No, you go. You got it. Okay. Hey guys, this is uh, the United Idiots. We're gonna do a idiot topic over uh, wire channels going to PS4 and you know what's the big attributes to it? And like why? Not just that. It's just like why uh, maybe you shouldn't upgrade to PS4. Yeah. So Mason, you wanna start us off? I guess. Thank you. Sure. I know. All right. Cool. All right. So let's see here. All right. So we all know, probably, let's just start off to begin with, we all probably know, like, this is going to be like this from now on, but we all probably know if, like, say, a PS2 to PS3, that kind of jump was a giant jump, it was a giant yeah. jump, right? And then we have, you know, PS3 to PS4, not much of a jump comparing to the other previous now. So you might be thinking, why should I upgrade? You know, some people might just be questioning that, or some, some people might be questioning, I'm just going to go to Xbox One, you know? Um, but we all know that, um, this generation around that PlayStation has won the fight. If you just go look it up, um, PlayStation, you know, all together, there's more votes for, you know, PlayStation 4 than Xbox One. So, um, let's just start off. It's user face friend. It's more user face friendly than, you know, Xbox. Simply because there's so many, you know, there's so many features where you can invite friends, go watch what friends are doing. Talk to friends while they're in game. Um, I'm not exactly sure if Xbox One has all those, you know, those features for that. And it's just a lot of easier to move around on the interface and stuff. Yeah. And what really yeah. got me, so, um, like what really got me when I was younger to get like an Xbox 360 or a PS3 was, you know, like I was younger, I didn't really work or anything. My parents, my parents wanted me to pay for it and stuff. Like, I like I had an Xbox. I I had a originally a PS3. But then, like, along the line, I have Xbox 360. But, like, when I got the PS3, what really jumped me in was, like, it's free. Like, the online is free. That's what I like. I don't like how you have to pay, like, 10 to 15 bucks, something like that, every month for Xbox 360. That's what I didn't like. Now it's not that big of a deal since I, like, I have jobs and stuff. But I have some money, you know. But that's what I liked about it. I mean, I just got used to PS3. You you have to play for it. You just... You do have to pay PS4 though. Yeah, you have to pay. It's sixty bucks for uh, a year, which is not bad. I don't. It's not bad at all. Fifty, not I bad. tell you, I think. Fifty, I think. Yeah, something like that. I know it's not ridiculous. It's like fifteen bucks it's a cheap, month. It's so. cheap. And I just like PS3 better. I just like the you know the handling of it better. So, yeah, Eli, you got any uh, ideas? Comments. I can't really say much about it. Because so do I. It's just, I think it really is just going to be like, you guys didn't mention this. You mentioned like my jumps between like PS2 and PS3, but you didn't mention this. Alright, so, even PS3 games, when PS3 first came out and stuff for the first couple years, the games looked pretty similar to PS2 games, right? Yeah. Compared to the PS, like the PS3 games, it looked pretty similar. Yeah. And we think that the PS4 looks amazing right now compared to the PS3. Yeah. And it's just the beginning, two two years of it coming out. Just imagine what's gonna be like when it's at its final year before a next gen or something oh, like yeah. how the PS3 was. So that's what I'm wondering. It's it can really it's gonna be that bring in some. A lot of cool and different things. And then, I guess that you want me to do, I'm going to go ahead and, I won't get deep into it, because I'm sure, I don't know, it's on the, about I sort of had a better processor, too. That's what I've heard. And then, this is what I think is really cool. So, the RAM of a PS4 is a lot higher than a PS3. A PS3 is like, it was only like a gig, like not gigabyte, it was only like two or three gigabytes, I think. Something like it's that. It's pretty low. I think it was four. It's pretty low. For some I, reason. I, they, might have, they might have upgraded it for on newer PS3s, but I know for most of them it was pretty low. A yeah. PS4 uh, RAM is eight gigabytes, so that's really good. Yeah, it's just some, I think you can upgrade it. Still I'm not sure. 
No, you can't upgrade. You can't mess with your own system. Okay. Yeah, you can't upgrade hardware. So you can't upgrade hardware. <laughs> not not on not, not on game consoles anywhere. Anyway. Well, I mean, what I'm saying is like from like the newer PS4, like newest P, newer PS3s, like the old ones and the new ones. I think it might have been upgraded. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. That's what Eli said. Yeah. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But like, it, it's not that good. It's not that good. But yeah, yeah, it is showing that though. It just shows that the PS4 is going to have so much more power than the so sort of totally no PS3. What I like about the PS4 and the Xbox One is like the like the game recording and like Twitch. I think that's really cool. And when I get mine, oh, I'm gonna yeah, start yeah. doing a lot of that. That's what I'd like. You can you know you can put a USB USB flash into your PS4 and like take it out. And put it in your laptop, and you don't have to have Elgato or well, anything. Well, we can just for break it. it down here. Let's just break it down. Let's just break it down. Let's just say, let's just break it down. Okay, so it's obvious, you know, with the technology and stuff, it's you know they're going so far with it. It's kind of hard to make that giant leap in graphics. But as they're, as they're, stop. That's really bugging me. I can't even focus as a lightning. But as they're. Um, you know, as they're going to be able to use the features and the compatibility to its full advantage, then they'll have it to its full advantage with the newer games kind of coming on in the next couple of years. Like, say, the next Elder Scrolls, it's probably going to be using that PS4's full advantage, and that game is going to be so amazing. It's like, it's unreal how amazing that game is. Wouldn't you agree, Eli? I would think so, yeah. Yeah. Skyrim so, right yeah. now. Skyrim right now. It's, it's going to be awesome. awesome. So let's just break it down here. The, the features and the stuff you can do would probably be the main reason why you would want to upgrade. Not necessarily the graphics and stuff, because, like, the graphics aren't too much of a difference, and then this the capacity of games. They still haven't taken full advantage of it, but they are. So might as well get a PS4 now, and then, you know, they'll they'll make games where it's going to keep using full capacity, as you can see in previous gen gens. They don't, you know, they... You just look at... Graph- compare Grand Theft Auto 4 to Grand Theft Auto 5. Compare those two. Yeah. They were playing, being played on the same console. It's just like imagining comparing Grand Theft Auto 5 to Grand Theft Auto 6. Imagine how crazy Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be. It's going to be on the PlayStation 4. It's just an example. So you're going to be buying this game just for future um, capacity and graphics, but you're going to be probably buying it now for the features and the, con- like the, features and the uh, interface of it. And comparing it to the Xbox One, uh, the interface friendly and the, how you invite friends and stuff is going to be better than the Xbox One. But they're both pretty much the same. Um, but you'll be buying the PS4 just for, you know, all the other extra features it has that Xbox One doesn't have. Yeah. So, yeah. And all of us on our channel are, you know, that's switching the, to it soon anyway. We're all switching to it soon. Yeah, our though. channel, United Idiots, we're all, we're all, Gage already has one. Uh, Cameron just sold his PS3 to get into PS4. Uh, Eli has like almost enough money to get one. Dominic's got one for his birthday, and then I'm start I'm gonna start saving up too. So we're all gonna be getting PS4 really soon. Yeah, we'll all probably have it by Christmas time, you know, give or take. But we'll probably have it by Christmas time. Yeah. All of us. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think that wraps everything up. Uh. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.